Okay, hi everyone. Right, we're going to do a, just a quick video this time. What we're going to look at today is an the M4. We're going to have a look at the Ares EGLM. Now, the reason I've gone for the Ares rather than the VFC, which was the more recent release, and I suppose VFC is thought of as a better brand, certainly when it comes to AGs. But, but in terms of their EGLMs, the VFC, well, put it this way, this is the one I've got now, the VFC I've sold. Pretty, uh, that sums it up quite nicely. VFC, it's the actual materials it's made of, the, uh, the way it operates, the sliding the tube, everything is properly, you know, the metal, the plastic, trigger units, how it, all better than this. Not by a lot, but better, and it's a lot cheaper. So you're saying, well, why have I got the Aries? Well, very simple. With the EGLM, the way that it attaches to the gun, very different to the M4, the M203, is these two quick release locking levers. You just swing them closed. Obviously designed for your Scar L or H. Doesn't, the mags, M4 mags don't fit in this particular gun. If you put a, a CASV, ASV, whatever you want to call it, handguard on your M4, it can work. I've just mounted it up on here just for demonstration purposes because I don't have the standalone uh, launcher unit. But, uh, but yeah, I, I bought this to go on uh, go on a, a King Arms CASV that I have on one of my Marui SOCOM M4s. And it just, it wouldn't fit on anything. It wouldn't fit on any M4 I had. It just wouldn't lock onto the rail. It wouldn't uh, wouldn't fit on my AGM Scar L. So that's the kind of gun it's meant to go on. I've heard even people say, some people say it will fit on their VFC Scars. That's all good. Some people with VFC Scars say it won't even fit to that. So, you know, what would you rather? Would you rather, for example, the Ares, this tube here, when you close it, easy to see on this side, because you've got the, uh, the, root, the piece there, when you close it, it doesn't rotate. On the real thing it would, and on the VFC, it, it does. Is it worth that for a launcher that doesn't actually lock to your gun and is no use to you? No. End of the day though, this thing, it locks down solid. The release there is good. And all works. So we're going to give it, give it a quick test. Just have a look. We've got two types of grenades. We've got the Mad Bull 18 rounders, which are great. Stick them in there. Smooth, fits, no worries. Safety catch just there. One more of those, again, fits, no worries. See that? Oh. So much more that thing. And we've also got two Pro Arms Palm Grenades, which are made of plastic, 48 rounders. Great value for money, these things. One of those in there. Quite a tough trigger pull on it, but fun. One more. Again, fits, no worries. No problem at all. Put on target. Blimey. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, good stuff. Hope you liked it.